Good morning, and welcome to At the Library. I'm Jennifer Winbury, Assistant Library Director at the Huntington County Library. I will be coming to you live every Thursday morning at 11 o'clock from the Huntington County Chamber of Commerce. Um, and this morning, I didn't have any author guests, and I walked in, and President Chris Phelan said, well, here's an author guest. Um, and he asked this lovely young lady, I said, do you have time? And she said, sure. So here we are with two lovely young ladies. Um, we have Corona Davis and Monique Spicer. Spicer from a la carte. So I'll introduce Corona first. She's a multi award winning founder and CEO of Diop Productions. She found her calling in 2015 when she and her family moved from Georgia to New Jersey. Originally a native of New York City's Greenwich Village. Yay. It's my favorite, one of my favorite places yes. in the world. Yes. Karina grew up in the mecca of the arts and entertainment industry. Freedom of expression was the word of the day, and walking amongst actors, singers, and dancers every day for most of her life was the norm. Being a part of a great experience such as this lit a spark within Corona, pushing her to delve more into her writing. This allowed her to complete her first novel, The Opening, which soon became a film production, followed by her short films, Unhinged and Masters of Ascension. Along with several film projects coming to light, Karina Davis Diop never shies away from hard work. Her personal philosophy, don't work for an empire, build one, is what she strives to accomplish by showing others how to use their talents and skills to succeed through personal experience. Corona is currently working on a comedy pilot, digital magazine by the name of Split Screen, two children's books, one of which she is writing with her son, Faraz Davis, as well as two film projects, Produced by her 13-year-old multi-award winning daughter, actress Amaya Davis Diop. 2022 brings in some new projects from Corona and her team at Diop Productions and Diop Productions Atlanta. We'll welcome in the new year with some exciting projects. Well, I'm exhausted already and I haven't <laughs> done anything. So welcome to the show. I, I know Chris kind of said, hi guys, go. Thank you. So um, tell us about yourself. Tell Thanks us about your work. Thanks for having me. Well, I'm originally a New York native, New Yorker, New York City, um, which, you, which you mentioned. I grew up in a mecca of um, arts and entertainment, um, where every day is like, be who you are, um, strive to be your best, and I try to put that within my work. So my first book I wrote called The Opening, I'm a, I have to let you know that I'm a horror buff. So of course, the first book I wrote, it took me five years, but I finally finished it. And I opened up a boutique in Frenchtown, New Jersey. Yeah, Frenchtown, New Jersey. And um, I, be, I fell ill. I felt I became very ill. And I said, you know, this is not what I want to do with my life. I loved having my own business. I loved having my name on the window. And, but it, it wasn't enough. I wasn't happy. And it was to the point where I was making myself ill. And I promised that if I could help myself, I would help others in my shoes. So with that being said, I dropped the boutique. I took everything out of the boutique and I opened it back up and made it a stage. And I did a, a audition for my first book. I just did it. I didn't think about it. I've never done it before. It's something I've always wanted to do, and I just did it. And I want to show others they can just do it too. So when you say you did an audition for your first book. Yes, I put a newspaper article out for um, audition, audition calling, and it worked. So I had like maybe 50 people. Oh, to audition. make it into a movie? Yeah. Okay. And it took us a year, but we finished that production. And actually, we have some local actors that, you know, Ann Schmalz again, um, Monique Spicer, that everyone probably know. And we're working on comedies and dramas, and it's a lot. We're working on a lot. Art and animation, um, comic books, superheroes, um, magazines, um, Self-publishing. I'm trying to teach others how to self-publish. You don't need to have a bunch of money or have a bunch of rich friends or connections to sit down and write a book and sell it yourself. So what is your first book about? Um, the the opening. opening. Yeah. Opening is a spiritual horror. 
Okay. So we have Angels and Demons, and we have the character. Her name's Danae Brathwaite, and she's living a normal life until she finds out this big secret that has angels and demons following her. So you guys have to buy the book to find out why they're following her. But she's very special, and you would never see the ending coming of why she's so special. So did you write that while you were in New Jersey, or had you? I wrote that. I was living in Atlanta at the time. Okay. Yeah. Um, when I got to New York, I pulled, it was dusty. I, I pulled it out and told myself I had to finish it, and that's what I did. And then I wrote a script in two weeks to okay. match the book. Did when you were growing up, did you imagine yourself as a writer, um, yes. an actor? Okay, so you see how fast I say that. Yes, I've always written. I wanted to be a writer in school. Always complimented. Always, I love writing. I'm a better writer than speaker. Well, you're doing fine so far. Thank you. <laughs> Considering you had no preparation. Yeah, I'm a better communicator through writing. Okay. Than I am speaking. Okay. So did you read a lot growing a up? A lot, yes. Because if you're in Greenwich Village, mm -hmm. there are bookstores like yes. crazy in yes. Greenwich Village. A lot of reading and hands on experience. Okay. What did you like to read? Horror. Horror. <laughs> Horror and I still do Stephen King. You know, I can't go past Stephen King. He's just my favorite. Okay. He's my favorite. Stephen King movies, uh favorites the Exorcist. You know the oldie, the oldie but goodies. Okay. But anything horror, spiritual, uplifting, um, where it can teach um, the youth in our age group, anything like that, I I like. So how long have you back been back in New Jersey? I've been in New well Jersey. in New Jersey because not back, but back to the area. Yeah, up north, back up north. Um, I would say we're going on our seventh year. Okay. Back, and I love it. Do you? And I miss it. Oh my God, New Jersey, New York City. I love it. Okay. Yeah, and this is a really nice area to be in because you can get to New York City so right. quickly. Right. Right. Um, I spent many, many weekends in the Strand bookstore digging through mm -hmm. books. Right. I probably ran into you there. So. The Barnes and Nobles and the. Oh my gosh. And yes. Oh my God. Yes. Yes. Nostalgia. <laughs> I know, I know. So, um, did you participate when you were growing up in any of these arts? Because I mean, there's always something going on. There's always a pop-up this or a pop-up that or something in Union Square Park or Washington Square Park. Unfortunately, I think I'm bursting at the seams now with artistic abilities right now because when I was younger, I didn't get a chance to express. Okay. Um, I did write a lot, write stories, and but I never printed or shot footage or I didn't. I wasn't able to express myself because I was taking care of a younger sibling, helping mom out, being a good kid, and I didn't know how. Right. You know, I didn't know how. I didn't have anybody um, to teach me how to make movies or what to do with this poem that I wrote or. Right, and I don't know how long ago you're, you're talking about, but. Nowadays, everybody just pulls out their phone and says, well, here, we're going to make a film. We're going to photo, you know, and film this. And that's another thing I want to teach people. Like, it's too much technology to be afraid. Right. It's too much technology. I meet artists every day, just about, and no one knows about them. They're hiding. We have so much talent in Huntington County and yes. Flemington and Annandale. People have no idea. Yet we're seeing the same faces on TV every single day. So, do you um, are you based out of Frenchtown still, or do you are you? I'm working out of my home now. Okay. We're actually, we've gotten big enough to um, we're actually looking for a home for DR production. Okay. So everybody's listening, and you have, have space. <laughs> yes, we're looking for a space for DR Productions and a la carte. One of my actors, actresses, Monique Spicer, award winning. Woohoo! <laughs> thank you, thank you. She was great, and um, I did a project with her called Ben. Okay. And it's a three part series, and the first part, she won Best Supporting Actress. Oh, wow. So, yeah, to, to, to be a first time on an episode, episodic series, she, she did very well. So, how hard is it to get, um, get your films out, get your work out? I mean, or is it easier now because 
there's like YouTube or Spotify it's for podcasts. It's easier pod- now because you don't have anyone to answer to. You don't have to ask. You don't have to find someone to do it for you. Now, it's hard work. The marketing aspect of it is very hard. I'm on a, I'm on the internet every single day, all day. Because I have to check what people are saying, what they're thinking, what they like. I have to make sure I reply to every single, you know, this is how you build up your fan base. It's, it's tiring, but when you have a love and a passion, you right. don't care. It's, I love talking to people. And my favorite people, teenagers, okay. middle schoolers. I love those guys. So I actually, when I get situated... I would like to form in Hunterdon County a place for young people for the arts. It's their space. It's no adults. It's no kitty kitties. It's for teens and middle school, you know, middle school tweens. And they can learn how to take workshops, make films of their own, editing, you know, a community-based thing for Hunterdon County. Um. So what kind of support are you finding within the county? Um, like, are you able to tap into the, the people you need to? Well, for that, I'm sure when I start, you know, the research and the asking for help, and I'm sure I'll get it. Um, Huntington County has been good to me <laughs> since good. I've been here. The love is, is awesome. Um, we put on Facebook Space Needed for rehearsal. Huntington County is on it. We have five, six people saying, you need a space? Oh, we have this. Oh, I know this person. It's, it's crazy. Great. Now, do you have a Facebook page for your production company or a website? Or? Yes, I do. So um, I have two websites, diopproductions.com and coronadavisdiop.com. Okay, and what I'll do is after the show because I can't do three things at once. Okay. Um, I will drop the links in the chat below the okay. video, the stream, because okay. the stream stays up. So, so if you write Corona Davis D up in Instagram and Facebook, okay. like everything will, if you Google me, everything will okay. come up. Okay, good. So, um, and you also work with your children. Yes. Is that is that tough working with your own children? or um, Or are they like, You've they're raised them good. well enough that when, they don't need... When I'm serious enough, they're good because I try to make them understand that it sounds cheesy and corny, but they are our future, you know? I want to make sure I leave this earth and they have no excuse for not succeeding. Like, your mom left you a book, movies, um, magazines, people to work with, networking. There's no way... You know, I'm doing this for them, too. I want them to build and be proactive in, so, in society, you know, and give back. So are they showing the same interest in some of these projects? Um, or? My daughter is, my 17-year-old son, not so much. He's like, Mom, I just want to be a normal kid. <laughs> but the, um, he's the one I wrote a children's book with that okay. should be out sometime this year. And my daughter is an award-winning actress. She's more involved. So I'm hoping she takes over. <laughs> so the children's book, is it a picture book or is it a no, like a novel for children? It's a picture book. The one I worked with with my son is called I Love. Okay. And it's about a little girl and she talks about everything she loves. And at the end of the book, she says, but most of all, I love me. Oh, that's really. So, you know, that's... I'm kind of self-love. Yes. Self-care. We need a lot of that today. Oh, especially after the last two years. Yeah. Yes. That's what it's about. Um, did you have an artist for that, or did you do your own artwork as well? I hired an artist for that. I wish I could. <laughs> I do a lot, but drawing is not one of them. So I basically, just to let you guys know, I basically find talent. And I don't have to look hard because artists usually gravitate to me, and I find, you know, find out someone's an artist or their daughter's uh, just graduated from art school. Or they're a performer. It's we like flock to each other. So tell me. I heard you say comic book before. Tell me about comics. I have an artist I met last year in Somerville. There's a comic book store in Somerville. I know you guys know what I'm talking about. And she did a, I'll say three to five book 
comic book series, Independent. She did it on her own. She had it published on her own. She did the art, the the um, title and everything, art on her own. Wow. So that's what I'm trying to show people that we can do this. You know, you don't have to be... Uh, I'll say, for example... Um, a top-notch A-list star to write a book and make it popular. You just have to work. And how do you spend? How much time do you spend uh, typically on? People ask me if I sleep. So let me tell you guys: we all live in Huntington County. We know these places. So I work at Clinton Township Middle School. I work at J. Jill in Flemington, um, and then I work on uh, DI Productions. So I'm really, and then you know the kids, the husband, right. the family. People ask me if I sleep. Barely. <laughs> well, I'll stand up later and you can see my J. Jill skirt that I'm wearing. <laughs> Barely, but I, I love what I do. I love my job. I love the kids at my job. I love J. I, I love Hunter and County. It's been good to me. Good. That's, you know, that's really I can't great. Lie. She's been good to me and my family. Now your son's in high school? Yeah, he goes to Notre Dame High School. Oh, wow. And what does he think? Does he have any... Is he thinking about the arts or uh, um, for after high school? or he's Now, not? you know what's funny? I went to culinary school, and I'm a chef also. He wants to go to culinary school. Oh, nice. So we're trying to figure out how a D1 football player is going to go to culinary. We're, we're working it out. <laughs> it, it he could. wants to cook. But you know what? That's a skill that will never... That's right. That even if you just use it for your family mm -hmm. it's a really important and, and, never goes and it will make him a very good catch for someone yes, someday that he comes with he cooking makes a heck of a cheese when we first got here he made cheesecakes and he sold to restaurants and um, small businesses he did he's a good cook good let's talk about monique let's talk about or monique. to talk to monique hi. monique hi good afternoon hi you can spin it around you can do whatever you want there you go glad to be here Thank you for stopping in. It's a pleasure. Yeah, I know you were pushed in. <laughs> it's always a pleasure to be in the chamber. I've been a chamber member for four years now, and I'm very excited to be here. And I'm now not gracious to know that you guys have this wonderful radio show that we can actually take participate participate yeah. in, and it's really great to be here today. So um, you're Monique Spicer. You're an award-winning actress. Yes, yes. But you must... Look well, yeah, I guess you can Talk say that, it. right? Thanks yeah. to Corona Die Out Productions. <laughs> yes. Um, living in Huntington County for 25 years, um, acting has always been in my passion from graduation from college from Hampton University where I studied communications and theater. And then I ended up coming to Huntington County by way of Los Angeles where I was out there pursuing my acting and dance career. And then I landed in hospitality. And that brings me here today. Okay. Um, the business is becoming very fruitful. Um, right now we're in a couple of venues in Hunterdon County. The Ryland Inn is one of our main ho houses that we provide executive wait staff for. S and we are hiring. That's another great thing. If anybody's looking for employment in the Hunterdon County area, a la carte is hiring, looking for bartenders, bridal attendants, banquet servers, sommeliers, groom attendants. Now that's a really big thing now in weddings, when you're having different weddings. Some people, you can just the, hire ge people? the gentleman looking for a, an assistant, almost like a butler. Nice. So that's what we do, and it's really great. So we are looking for hiring right now. Oh. And um, during the pandemic, when the business was completely shut down, we had to look for other avenues to get sustainable income. And I was able to raise $5,000 for my team during the pandemic to make sure that they had a little cushion to fall back on because it's hard during the pandemic when you have nothing and then you have everything and then you know your support base is what builds your brand and you make sure you take care of them. Of course. So it's just a great time to be back in the forefront of the industry and hospitality and be able to inspire and empower others. So you basically jobs. like you have a a troop. Yeah, of... I have a team we call the SWAT team, Superior okay. Weight Staff Attentive Team, and they work on weekends, so you definitely definitely be available on the weekend. We do have an occasional weekday events for um, golf courses and things of that nature since the weather is changing. Let's hope so. So that's really nice to be able yes. to you know, go out there and putt and par and 
be able to provide service to the golfers and anybody else who's So interested. it's like specialized services. Specialized services, or yes. Or it's for special events. Special okay. events. In-home events, too. The brand started in 2008, and it started as a two-partner team, and then we ended up going to people's houses when people wanted that extra help in the kitchen. Okay. You know? And um, do you work with caterers? or? Yes, I work with caterers in Hunterdon County. work with Chive and Time. Um, or I've worked with Beck's Kitchen. I've worked with um, Frank's Pizza in Clinton. Uh, Martin Little Catering. Um, so you don't you don't do the catering. Main. You just they say we want food, we want wait right, staff, right. and then so what we do is we collaborate with the food proprietors. And if the guests ask, okay, do you have this type of fusion of cuisine, whether it be Jamaican down in East and Princess of Jamaican cuisine? You know, the nice thing about being in hospitality, you your family, the chefs is family with this wait staff. Sometimes the chef don't have the support that the restaurant needs and they call upon us. Sometimes we need the food. We don't have food. We have the people to serve their right. food. Okay. So we kind of blend together, which is a really nice mesh in the industry now. A lot of um, different companies like my own are doing that. We're collaborating together and we're working as a family. Food and service go hand in hand. Yes. You know, Food tastes good by itself, but when you have great service, it's a well-managed w- marriage for the two. And entertainment. And yeah, I was going to say, I, and I'm, hearing, exactly. I'm hearing food and entertainment yeah. over yes, here yes. and the wait staff so here. So it's, it's a great blend because... You can you be know, your own party. Exactly. Right. You can do your own party. That's yeah. right. And the nice thing is that, uh, and I know you know the history behind every great actor, they're on food service. Everybody's waiting tables, mm-hmm. you know, before sure. they get their big break. So, you know, hospitality and entertainment also go hand in hand in the industry. Because people in California are waiting tables or bartending until they get their next gig or if they're, if they're auditioning for something. And that's one good thing about um, being in hospitality and doing wait staff. You can work when you want. You're not locked into anything. So you have that flexibility, you know, which is great. So how did you and Corona connect? Uh, it's not a great story. So I have to tell you. We Corona were just con- talking about this yes. yesterday. Yes, we were just talking Our about children. that. Our children. <laughs> Our good friends. And they yes. went to North together. Right. And my daughter played football. Okay. And her son played football. My daughter played for the Flemington Falcons, and she ended up meeting her son, who also played football. For the 100 and Huskies. For the 100 and Huskies. And they met, on, I guess, on the field. And my daughter says, Mom, you have to meet this lady. And I say, well, who is this lady? She's a film producer, director. She writes books. She's writing a movie. And I'm going to be in one. I said, really, Sienna, you are? She says, yeah, you have to meet her. I said, well, can I maybe think I can get in one? <laughs> and that's all she wrote. And that's all she wrote. <laughs> and then we connected. And I think it was div- divine intervention that we both connected. Because I've been out of the game for a very long time. And to get back into the industry with Corona and to win this award... I was blown away because I didn't even know what to expect. That's like I told you when people, artists flock to each other. I had no idea she did that. I, her daughter never told me she acted in theater major. And so that blew me away when I spoke to her and found out she had experience. Yeah. It was like, it was almost like she came to me at the perfect time, you okay. know, in my life because I always wanted to get back into it. And she was really just a pivotal inspiration. You know, because now I'm doing what I went to school for, and I'm getting back into what I'm passionate about, and thank and I thank her wholeheartedly for that, because sometimes you get in these dark periods where you're like, oh, I'm never going to do that again. But here comes the light at the end of the tunnel, the beacon of hope through the lens. And then that's right. I thought I, I was going to talk to myself lady. for an hour today, and then exactly <laughs> right. Right. So <laughs> it's really it's really fun to be um, in this time that we're living in such a sensitive sensitive age right now with everything in the world going on. But just to have that beacon of hope that, you know, everything will just be fine, right. you know, and just have to have that in our heart to know that mm-hmm. God will never leave us, you know. And if you just put everything on the plate and give it to him and everything will manifest itself. And, be, and be your brother's keeper. I always say this on the Internet. We're our we're each other's keepers. You know, we were it's placed true. here to take care of each other. That's right. And we got to get better at it. I'm trying to get better at it. <laughs> Sounds like you're doing a pretty good job. Thank you. That's a start. So Ben, you said was the um, three-part series? Yeah, Ben is Can a you... drama. I would match it to a Lifetime movie. Okay. Um, ben is about a husband and wife's struggle after the son dies mysteriously. Mm-hmm. But it's a supernatural. It's a horror, so... <laughs> It's a fun. It's a fun character. 
You know, and it's, it's very emotional and it's up and down, up, up and down. Like they're okay one minute, they're they're fighting the next, and then back down. So it's really emotional. It's a and you can coaster. see the snippet on YouTube, the first part series yes. on YouTube. Okay. If you go on to Corona Diet Productions on YouTube, she does have a channel there. Mm-hmm. Tune into that. You can see the um, the for, the first part of the four part series. Mm-hmm. Okay. And everybody's asking now, when when's the next one? When's yeah, the next what's one? What's happened to Ben? Is Ben alive? Is right, he coming right. back? So, so she really like... writes great. She really writes really great suspenseful. Um, you know, books and novels and, and scripted perfectly. So where else do you stream YouTube? Like Facebook. if people wanted to see more of that, or is it all on So right now, we're mostly handing in projects to film festivals. Okay. Right now. Um, our episodic series, Ben is our first, so Ben is on YouTube. We will probably use YouTube for now to introduce our episodes. And as we grow... Then we would go to bigger streaming services like Hulu and uh, YouTube. Um, Unhinged was actually on Amazon. Oh wow! My movie, yeah. It's, yeah, I'm not really, I'm not really good at streaming. Like I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just getting eBooks down. My husband's a techie, so if I don't want to stream, I have to stream because he okay. has all the new devices and the 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 gadgets right. and the. That's good. Uh, have okay. tech, it's good to have that tech in the family. <laughs> so what's it like? We tried with Chris, um, the chamber president, a few years ago, quite a few years ago now. Um, we had a, I used to have a, a co-host for my show. He was our graphic artist. Um, and we did programming. We were like the dynamic duo at the library. We did a lot of programming. We, we did a lot of neat things. And we did a lot of things with Chris. Chris brought us into the radio. We had talked about doing a 100 and County Film Festival. And it just never quite, it just never quite got off the ground because we we're all so busy. And mm-hmm. so, mm-hmm. which like, what film festivals do you? I'm starting love? to get goosebumps because we were just discussing starting a film festival for okay. Hamilton County. We have a logo. <laughs> so you know, we yeah. have a judges panel, and um, so let's talk. Yeah, yeah, because we, we had sat down with Chris. Jim and I had sat down, and Jim's only in Vermont. He's close, you know, he's, and he comes down mm-hmm. here still. Um, but yeah, we had we had laid it all out, and then just, you know, we got busy or something happened, or, and we just never kept right. kept the momentum. Well, now we're here. About, I know. That's right. It's about the we're continuity here. and the exactly. energy and finding the right people that will push you when you're slowing down. Right. right. So if I slow down and I'm getting discouraged, here she comes. No, sister, you got to get up. Come on, did you finish that book? Did you do this? Did you finish that? And we do it back and forth Mm -hmm. to each other. As for the um, film festivals, I have a different take on uh, film festivals. You know how people try to get into, like, Sundance and the big, huge... Yeah, but I I know there's, like, a lot of little... Not little, but local sort of um, niche festivals. It's not... It's actually not fair Mm -hmm. to the smaller... (laughs) Right. I know there's one in South filmmakers. there's one in South Jersey someplace yeah. that I know of. So um, what about mm-hmm. the smaller guys who have just as much talent and don't get seen? Right. Because they might not have the right equipment or the right actors or so I'm looking at all of that. Right now I deal in small film festivals because they're trying to grow like me. Right. So why not, you know, help them? There's a film festival called the New Jersey Film Festival and I think it's an online event. But I enter because they're good and they're honest and they're well organized. They're small, but they're organized. And, you know, when you win an award, they send it and they put it on fit. They do their thing. So I want to be a part of helping them, you know, grow. Right. And everything, so much has gone online the last yeah. couple of years. I'm yeah. trying to make my own niche in space. I'm not trying to go with Hollywood. I'm trying to make my own Hollywood. Is that. Now you you were you've been in Los Angeles. You've yes, been. you've mm-hmm. done the big, I've done flashy, the big. Mm-hmm. and you're familiar with with New York City. But I don't know. I feel like Greenwich Village is sort of a and I keep using the word niche, like a little like independent sort of. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think of a question, like how I like what I want to ask, like the small independent, and then but then the big flashy like where do they meet and where. Or do they meet? Or they're going to have to meet. At do they need to coexist now. separately? They're going to have to 
they're gonna have to coexist because the big guys are running out of ideas. How many times are we going to watch the same idea, just different actors, different... How many remakes do we have to watch? When you start watching a lot of remakes, you got to think, hmm, they must be running low on... Then you have that up there, then you have us down here making all this new music video, blah, 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 songs, music, um, movies, film, artwork, and they just stuck up here pushing out the same thing. So more the, our value is more, I think. So how do you get the word out? Social media, talking, visiting, literally interacting with people. It's not through social media. It's actual face-to-face interaction with people. It still works, guys. <laughs> now, do you get to do anything at, at your in your school district? Um, as for my work, no. They know what I do, but I don't really. Or like mix mentoring. Match. Yeah. Yeah, okay. they buy my books, they support me, the teachers and the staff and the, I have a great support system. That's good. Great support system. And I, I'm very careful about what I put out because I have children following me. So I'm very careful about who I work with. And That's what I was going to ask. Um, the out. story about Ben. You've yeah. got a, a child that you, that you say mis- mysteriously died or disappeared? Died. Okay. Was that is that like really hard because you both have children? Was that? Um, I mean, you do you know how it's going to end? I'm, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So maybe I it's, do know how it's going to end. <laughs> it, it, it's a it's a surprise. And of course, no, 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 don't because don't spoil it. But yeah. um, is that is that difficult to write with children? No, because my mindset is I'm an artist. I can separate. Okay. Now my actors, on the other hand. And the, and the property owners where we filmed were like, you're not scared, you're... And I'm like, you have to, se- you have to separate. You have to, because how many films will you make that hits a nerve, something happened in your life? Now, where do you draw your ideas from? Because it doesn't sound like you have a lot of horror in your life. And I hope um, you don't. Or do they I just sort say, of come? They just come. I know like she said divine. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Elizabeth nice. Gilbert, um, in her last book, which name escapes me right now, I can't say it. She said like ideas are just in the universe, and if you don't pluck it and take care of it, it's going to leave you. That's, That's true. It. I believe uh, that. Um, mm-hmm. It's true. It's another way of working a um, a muscle like muscle memory. If you don't use it, you're gonna, you know, I could feel myself. When I moved here, I'm going to be harsh, but I have to be harsh so you guys get it. And I know some of you get it. I was in such a dark place, and I was drained, and I had moved away from my family, which I've never been that far. They were in Atlanta. I moved up here with my husband. He got a new job and my kids. Depression, and and I would say around the first year, I'm like, okay, Corona, that's enough, you know. That's one thing I like about myself. I give myself exactly three days if I'm depressed. And after three days, that's it. Um, I lost weight. I ate better. Um, I started filming and writing, and I feel alive. Like, I want people to have some of this juice. Like, I want to share, you know? I feel awesome. Wow, that's really, that's great. That is great. So, um... Let me just remind you once again, this is at the library, and I'm Jennifer Winberry, and um, I have Corona Davis Diop and Monique Spicer with me, um, kind of unexpectedly. It was, it was <laughs> serendipitous. Serendipitous. Great surprise. So, it was um, such a pleasure to be here today, and thank you all listeners for listening in. Yeah, we get a lot of viewers like after. Right. I'm trying to see. That's great. Uh, Corona Diop Productions. Corona Davis, Davis Diop. 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 Yeah. So, um, what else would you heart. like us? To, we still have about ten more minutes. Is there anything else you'd like? Let's sing a song. <laughs> Got and please. You want to sing a song, Corona? Let's sing a song. Do we have, I gotta get to work. Do we have a song to sing? No, I don't sing. Why do birds suddenly appear every time you are near? Just like me. You long to be close, close to, to you. you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's you great. ladies are terrific. So much fun. <laughs>
And you can audition for anything. If anybody wants to audition, yeah, that's what I was going to. Auditioning, you... our auditions are coming up. Check okay. out Corona Diop's page that's right. for up and coming auditions. Her Facebook. Yeah. If you're if you have that passion and you just never had that spark, like she lit me up here, as far as getting me back into the um, the acting and the dancing and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. If you just don't know which way to turn. You know, we're very resourceful of information. We do ghost writing. If you have a story to tell and don't know how to write it, we write it for you. If you have a, a TV series, uh, a book, you know, I help pull it out of you. All of that. All of it. That's great. So you ready to work and get some things done and be your genuine self. I'm here to help. There you go. Okay. And if you're looking for etiquette classes, I'll be teaching some etiquette classes for little young ladies and men. For I was just thinking the young kids. Need young this. kids. <laughs> we need etiquette classes. So when they go out to dinner with their parents, they eat with their proper fork and knife and know when to clear your plate and how to put your napkin on your lap and all of that. So that's you also you becoming... Don't lick the plate? <laughs> No, never mind when they're out to dinner, just when they're at the house. For how to sit down with you, have a dress. It's almost like bringing the debutante balls back into the forefront uh, with etiquette. That has so long been t tossed to the yes. side now. And as these children are growing up in this wonderful town that we live in, one affluent town, Huntington County is the third prominent town in the United States of America, third on the list. Yes. Now, so, do you, And you have a website as well? Yes, my website is www. A L A C A R T E S V C dot com. So that's a la carte S V C dot com. Okay. And so the I'm... company's a la carte premier servers LLC 908 343 6361. Our phone's on right now. I'm not hearing it ring. <laughs> <laughs> so call... Yeah, so I'll put all this in the chat boxes Excellent. below. Thank so you so thank much. You. Thank you, ladies, for stopping by. It's been such a sheer delight to be here. This has been so much fun, and I will be in touch. I have things are always going through my mind. And, um, awesome. Yeah. Thank you again. Yes, thank you so much for stopping by. My pleasure, and you have a great week. You also. Thank you. Hope to see you again Bye soon. Bye-bye. Bye. Awesome. Yeah, that was great. Nice. Oh, yeah, you're so good. Nice. We're still. Okay, you. thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. It was. We didn't expect this today, but God had a plan. That's right. I didn't have a plan, so I'm glad. You You're welcome. I sure will. All right. Good to meet you. Well, that was very exciting for the library show, wasn't it? Now I'm back here on my own. I should have had them sing that. So um, let me just catch up on some of the things going on at the Hunterdon County Library. Tomorrow is the drop-off, no, Saturday is the drop-off day for reading with my peeps. So if you did a peep diorama, be sure to drop it off at the library on Saturday between 1.30 and 4.30. And then stop in at the library between the 4th of April and the 23rd and vote for your public choice award for the peep contest. Um, we have a full line of... Um, April programs coming up. Um, one of the tent poles is April Poetry Month contest. April is Poetry Month, and we will be having a poetry contest um, for all ages. It is back. We are accepting entries right now through the 15th. Um, and then April 26th through May 13th, the entry exhibition will be at the Headquarters Library Gallery. And then there will be a poetry reading and award ceremony on April 28th from 6 to 8 p.m. So um, all ages and abilities are welcome to enter. Um, so go to our website, hclibrary.us, to look for that. Um, you can submit one poem in any style, 20 lines or under. Categories, adults, teens, and children, 12 and under. Please make family-friendly poems that no vulgar no vulgarity offensiveness or profanity and they have to be original by the person who entered them um, they will be scored on a scale of one to ten and prizes will be awarded to the winners and runners up and like your taxes the last day to submit your poem is april 15th although i'm not certain that's tax day any longer um we'll see so the friends are beginning to collect for their book sale um 
The drives will begin on Saturday, April 9th and Saturday, April 16th at the South County Park from 9 to 2. Large and small donations are accepted at these drives. Um, you can also drop off small donations at the North County Branch Library in Clinton from April 5th through the 7th and at Headquarters Library from April 12th through the 14th in the lobby. Um, the friends will gladly accept hardbacks, paperbacks, children's books, DVDs and video games, CDs and audiobooks, and sheet music. And then the sale is located at the South County Park Fairgrounds, Grange Building, for all you GPS users, 1207 Route 179, Lambertville. Um, and it's just off of 202 or right through Ringo's. The sale on Saturday um, from 8 to 10 is early bird specials. It's free with a member, a 2022 membership card. Non-members over 18 pay $20. And then from 10 to 5, it's free admission. On Sunday, April 24th from 10 to 3, it's half price day, free admission. And Monday, April 25th from 9 to 2 p.m. is bag sale day. And the $5 a bag, the friends will provide the bags. Um, and if you are a nonprofit and you're interested in learning about the gleaning on Sunday afternoon, um, contact FOHCL book sale at gmail.com. I'm looking for my April calendar and it's not jumping up and saying, here I am. So um, this coming Monday is the launch, the scheduled launch of the library's new website. Um, same address, hclibrary.us. So we are really anxious to see what that's going to look like. Although it may be the calendar is launching this Monday and the website may be launching in two weeks. I'll have to find that out. Um, but April 6th, Fred Miller will be streaming live again. They wrote the words, part two. Um, and again, you click each program for more details um, and it will be on Crowdcast. And then it is still available after that. Ooh, I found my calendar for you to view. Um, let's see. Just real quickly. Here comes Monique right back. Yeah. You thought of something? Oh, thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, let's see. On Monday, we're going to have um, start our next Take and Make Affirmation Tokens. And then from 4 to 8 p.m. at the North County Branch Library will be the introduction to the Glowforge laser cutter. I already mentioned Fred Miller on um, Wednesday night as well. Is uh, the virtual ESL conversation group just, and then there's one on Thursday afternoon. Uh, just sit back and chat and work on your um, English conversation skills. Oh. This didn't even come up. This Saturday at 1 p.m., Corona Davis Diop will be at the North County Branch Library. Um, a drop-in. How curious. Um, so stop in. I think I'm going to take a ride up and see her. On Saturday, um, at the headquarters library on the 9th, there will be a seed bulb and house plant swap beginning at 2 p.m. Then the following week um, at North County Branch at 10 a.m. there is a laser engrave a pencil demo and a Pisansky the um, the Ukrainian egg workshop at headquarters um, and then the book club the flight attendant book club flight attendant that we're talking about Chris Bojalian's the flight attendant uh, the library is closed on Friday the 15th for um, an observance of Good Friday and then on Saturday from 1 to 4 at the North County Branch Library, there is a beading demonstration. Um, let's see. And then coming back, we're closed that Sunday. The following week, we have Dear Survivor Letter Writing with Safe and Hunterdon. Um, the South County Book Group will be meeting. They'll be talking about Kristen Hanna's The Great Alone. Um, Wednesday afternoon, there'll be a virtual program, Mastering the Interview. And that evening at the headquarters library, there's a date night um, geared to um, our younger adult patrons. They will be making affirmation poetic tokens. Um, then on Thursday afternoon, there'll be a virtual emergency prep kit. 
Um, and then on the 23rd in the afternoon, there will be genealogies for beginners with Laugh Leaf Genealogy, who we were supposed to have at the library um, in 2020, just before everything shut down. And then there'll be a container gardening workshop at the headquarters library on the 27th. And on the 30th, bio blitz for senior science at headquarters. And then on the other side of our calendar, we also have our youth programs. Um, you want to sign up for the teen loot lit bag, teen lit loot bag. Uh, we have a teen knit and crochet club at the North County Branch Library, some teen Dungeons and Dragons, and a video, a virtual anime club. And there'll be a teen grab and go recycled craft kit. Um, let's see what else. Make and code micro bit self watering plant system. Um, DC Marvel trivia. A teen crafternoon and um, story time will be starting again on the 27th. It'll be outdoor preschool story time at the headquarters and North County Branch Library. So keep checking our websites for all these programs and the upcoming programs. Um, we've got a lot of new and exciting things coming up. The headquarters library construction is about to get underway at. Um, any day now, they've cleared out the periodical room on the lower level, um, which will become a maker space uh, tech lab, a business space. So all kinds of exciting things going on. And don't forget that um, you can visit the library. And we will be starting to get out into the community. Probably our first event will be the Hunterdon County Chamber of Commerce Community Day on June 11th. So you want to watch for more details coming up. So I want to thank Corona Davis Diop and Monique Spicer for stopping by um, and thank Chris for sending them my way because it would have been really boring to listen to me talk for an hour to myself. Um, and again, Corona is going to be at the North County Branch Library on Sunday uh, Saturday afternoon, so stop in and see her. Jim Gano will be in at 1 o'clock with his show Taking Care of Business. And until next week, remember wherever you are, or you can call, stop in, or go online. Your library is always there for you. Have a great week.